This is Marco from Laser Illusions Technology and today we're going to be making these multi-layered LED lamps. Um, today we're going to be making the Iron Man version and I'm going to show you how to do the design and how to put everything together after you design. Before we start, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Laser Illusions Technology how this lamp works is this LED base has four rows of LEDs which are different colors so for this particular LED base there are four colors um, in the front being red then blue and then green and then orange so how it works is each row of LEDs is two millimeters and each blank of acrylic is also two millimeters. So each row will illuminate one blank of acrylic. And when you put all four blanks together, it'll have four different colors. You're gonna need four of these two millimeter LED um, cast acrylic blanks. And you're gonna need also a multi-layered LED base. Um, all of this uh, you can get in my Etsy store, uh, the link is below, so please check it out. Let's head over to the computer. So to start off, we're going to need um, an image of Iron Man. That's a PNG file or a, a JPEG file or an image file. So what we have here is from just from the internet. Iron Man is a really good example um, to do because uh, it'll utilize three of the four colors of the LED base that we have. So we're going to use yellow, red, and blue for the eyes uh, since we don't have a white LED color on the base. And the green will be left blank. Um, so we won't see the green on the final product. So we're going to be using three images. So this first image is Iron Man, uh, the head of Iron Man. Um, and the logo of Iron Man we're going to use as well and also the Marvel logo so let's start that um, so I head over to your whatever software you're going to be using to edit this you can use Illustrator but today I'm going to be using Lightburn using the trace function so we just create a new untitled document we already have it here and you import Iron Man head, right click, trace image, and fade the image a little bit to see how well it traces. So Lightburn has an auto trace function, so it's a little bit easier than doing it manually. So that looks pretty good to me. Just adjust it a little bit, yeah, and just look around, make sure all the tracing is good, and press OK. Drag the tracing out and delete that image. Uh, we're gonna put this in uh, the red layer, sorry, black layer, which is uh, the fill layer right here. So you wanna put that in the fill layer so when you preview it, um, it'll fill all that, um, that area there. So after that, we need to import the logos, so we're going to import the Marvel logo and also the Iron Man logo. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing, just we'll do it one at a time here. We're going to choose this Marvel uh, logo, fade image, and adjust a little bit to your liking. That looks pretty good to me. And press OK. Drag it out and the, the original image. Um, okay, put that below Iron Man's head here, and we're gonna do the same thing for the Iron Man logo. Play the image a little bit so you can see it better. Adjust it to your liking. That looks good to me as well. Drag it out and delete the original image. Okay. We're gonna make the Marvel logo a bit smaller. So it's underneath Iron Man's head here and the Iron Man logo a lot bigger. So 
it stands out more. So after that, um, uh, this direction, which is the Y direction, you can um, align it to however uh, uh, distance you like from each other. So that looks about right to me. I want the Marvel logo to be a little bit closer to the Iron Man logo here. And that's okay with me. And the distance between the Marvel logo to the head is okay with me also. So what you do is you highlight everything and you align it in the V center direction. That's perfect. Okay. Now the next thing we do is we have to create a box around it. So we create a box around that and this, this box will be in the blue layer, which is the line layer. This is our cut line layer. So that's okay. It really depends how you, big you want. It's really up to you how big you want this box to be. This will basically tell you how big your uh, LED lamp will be. So the base for this LED lamp is um, 89 by 26 millimeters so on the width you will go 89 and the height is 26 millimeters it's perfect what we want to do now is align this box here with a larger box. Okay, let's adjust the Y first to see how far we want it to be. That's okay with me. So this box and this box we will align in the V center. That's perfect. And we will go to the pen tool and join these two boxes together make one big box all right leave the square in the middle and what we want to do now is get the shape and this shape and select it and we will join that together using the boolean uh, tool there and that's perfect um, height wise I think that's okay that's big enough for me, so it's up to you how big you want this to be. Uh, but that's okay with me. Okay, so the next step is to group these two and these three shapes together. Okay, it's already grouped. It's okay. Oh, wait, actually, no, it's not grouped yet. Okay, let's group together. So right click, group together, so it moves together. Right. And what we want to do is put the Iron Man into however height you like, so that's okay there. And then after you figure out your Y, you can align it in the V center again, and that is perfect. So once you have that, what we need to do now is create the four layers representing different colors. So we have the red, uh, orange, blue, and green, right? So what we need to do is first of all group all of these together so they won't move. And then you copy and paste it four times or three times so basically you need four instances so each of these will represent uh, each layer and we'll make this one red and this one orange this one blue and this one green uh, what we need to do now is highlight everything and align it in each center it's easier to work on and then 
we will work on this red uh, layer first. Let's ungroup all of that. Okay, and ungroup that as well. So we'll focus on this um, red layer. We'll go to our, Im our original image of Iron Man. Stuck here. Okay, we go to the original image of our Iron Man here. You can see that the red is basically the outline of the head and the outline of the eyes and the cheekbones and uh, mouth. So we want that to be red, nothing else. So what we want to do is uh, preview it and see if we are going to be engraving the red parts. So this is the side of the head, uh, mouth, cheekbones, the um, outline of the eyes, so that's okay. And also the marble and Iron Man logos need to be red as well. So Iron Man, well this is going to be red, that's okay. So that one will, will, uh, will engrave. And the marble logo, so the red needs to be the outer, um, the outer side of the letters, which will be the engraving side here. So that's okay. So red is the red layer is okay now. Now we move on to the orange layer. We go back to Iron Man image here. The orange layer is only the forehead, um, the cheekbones, and the chin. So um, we don't need, so we'll ungroup that first. So we don't need the outer um, side of the head because that's red. So we'll delete that and we don't need the eyes as well. We will delete that and that. We'll only engrave whatever is yellow and we also don't need the logo because the logo is red so we'll delete the logo as well and if we click preview and just to confirm if everything is correct so this is going to be yellow this is going to be yellow 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 and yellow that's perfect okay and we're going to move on to the blue layer now so again, we'll ungroup everything. So we it before. And we're gonna delete the logo since that's red. And the only thing that's blue, it's really gonna be the eyes. So everything else we need to delete. So we'll ungroup the head as well. And delete everything but the eyes this time. It's gonna be the blue layer. And we will confirm using the preview. And that's correct. Press OK. So this is the easiest one, which is the green layer. There's no green layer on the Iron Man. Um, oops, excuse me. So we will ungroup everything again. So there's no green layer on the Iron Man image so we can actually delete everything here and when we put this layer inside the LED base it will well it'll illuminate the edges but you won't see any green in the middle so that won't affect our image okay so that's pretty much done and we can preview one more time just to see if everything is good. And if we put all of these on top of each other, it should all line up. And the way you can check that is group each layer again. After you finish editing, so group each layer. select everything and you align both vertical and horizontal centers everything should line up 
well, honestly, the same upgrade because it's multiple layers. But yeah, everything should line up. If you look at the lines, you shouldn't see any. You should see all the lines overlap. And that looks really good. Okay, control Z. Undo, undo that. And that's basically it. So what you do is you send that to your... Well, actually the speed and power. I can talk about that as well. So for the fill, which is the black. I have a 70 watt laser, so I set my speed to 300 millimeters per second and my maximum power 12.5% and light interval at 0.1% uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. Um, if you engrave too deep, it's actually not good since uh, it won't let the light through. But if you don't engrave enough, um, you will have a really really bad quality image engraving so what you want to do is be in the middle but in the lower end be as low of a power as possible while still getting a good engraving so for me in my machine I found that 300 millimeters per second at 12.5 percent power is sufficient for the line mode which is the cut mode I have mine set at 10 millimeters per second at 33 percent and you don't want this too high either or else you're gonna get these little dots on the back of your acrylic so press ok and one more thing the final thing you should do is take each layer this is a very important step, is take each layer and mirror it. Um, these three are pretty much symmetrical, so it doesn't matter if you mirror it or not. But the first layer here needs to be mirrored. Um, the reason being is that the LED uh, light illuminate uh, it looks better from the opposite side of the engraving so once we print this out on the LE, uh, on the laser cutter we're gonna look at it from the other side of the acrylic not from the engraved side but the plain side so that's it just send this to your machine and um, it sh should be good to go after you uh, print out all your layers, um, it should look like this. Um, so you have to put each layer into its corresponding color on your LED lamp and make sure it's in the correct layer, uh, correct color layer. And once you put it into your LED lamp, And turn the lamp on. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it should look like this. Each color should be illuminated, and you will finally see Iron Man and the logo. I hope that helps you guys out. And if you guys have any questions, just send us an email, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.